everybody, this is Steven with another Pixel for Life video tutorial. Today we are going to be creating a Toy Story like logo. I don't want to show a picture of it because I might get in a little bit of trouble for showing something that's not mine. So if you're interested in seeing what it looks like you can go ahead and pause this and Google it or you might be familiar with it. So we're going to uh, start off with the word story which is in the center of it and after a little bit of research I found out that the font for that is Gil Sans Ultra Bold and it's almost just the stock font but it's modified just slightly the letter spacing and the letter width is a little bit different now the word toy that's Gil Sans Ultra Bold as well just the T and the Y were modified slightly now we're not going to worry about that because I'm not going to copy this logo, ex logo exactly I'm going to change the word toy to something different like PFL or something. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is get the yellow color which is F5D602 and this is the yellow that we're going to be using throughout this logo and I'm just going to click in the middle and type STORY in all caps and then we are going to create a layer underneath it. I'm going to change my foreground to this red color. And this red is D50129. So what I'm going to do is just draw, draw out a rectangle here. Something like that. And fill it with that red. And then Command T and go to Perspective. And I'm going to scale this in just a little bit and let's scale that out maybe this a little bit more something like that and you can use the normal logo as a template if you're working on your own I just again don't want to get in trouble so I'm going to just leave it as this so now this story here that's starting to look weird I thought it was spelled incorrectly we're going to have just one style effect and that is going to be a drop shadow now the drop shadow is a dark red and the the color for this dark red is A30322 and we're going to change this blending to normal opacity to 100% <clears throat> and now for the angle we're just going to leave it at this normal 120 and the distance is going to be 2 spread is going to be about 50 we'll go 52 to be different and the size is going to be 1. So as you can see it's very slight but it is there. So click OK. And now we are going to get started on uh, well let's do uh, let's stylize this back red part. The red doesn't have too much. We are just going to give it a bevel and emboss. Now to start off you want to make sure this is an inner bevel and the depth is going to be 320 and right there it looks pretty bad but we're going to mess with it just a little bit so the size is going to be one you can keep this at zero and turn off use global light or else when we mess with this angle it will mess up the shadow underneath story so the angle is negative thirty nine and this altitude is sixteen alright so now this opacity is thirty and the second opacity is 19. So it's very minimal. You don't see a whole lot, but there, it gives it this uh, dark, dark red color on the top there. So you can click OK. And you can kind of see it, it's coming together pretty nicely. So we can group that together if you want. You don't have to. You can be a rebel like that. And we'll name this red box. Create a new layer above this, and this is where we are going to create our PFL text. So let's change this red color to the blue that we need, and that is 1C3986. Click OK, and we're going to write the letter P, then click Enter, and then F, and as you can see, it, these are going to be on their own layers, and then L. Alright, so now the PFL, we are going to make them a little different sizes, but let's just make it grow quite a bit. 
All right, zoom in. And then we're going to make this L and the P. We're going to make that a little bit bigger as well. We'll make it like 180, just so it's slightly larger. So then we want to right click and convert it to a shape and do that for all of them. And that's so we can modify the width of different parts of it, like uh, this back right here is just a little bit too wide. And then we're going to do the same for the F and the same for the L. Something like that. Looking good. And now let's, uh, let's stylize the inside of it before we align it too much. So we're going to double click here. And this has not a ton of different styling but we want to go to color overlay and we're going, going to change it to that yellow and then stroke is going to be this blue and you want the position to be on the inside so it, rem so it keeps these sharp edges here and we're going to scale this in just to something that looks good something like that, that's 8 right there and then we are going to give it a inner shadow and for this we're going to change the distance to zero choke we're going to slide that out and size we're going to bring this up just so it looks like it has some depth let's bring up the choke just a bit more uh, okay that looks pretty good then we'll lower that opacity something like that I don't know you can mess with it and make it perfect but I just want something to have a little bit of depth and then we are going to give it a drop shadow and I'm going to turn off use global light and I'm going to change this to 90 so it's straight up and down change this to normal and then we're going to grab a dark blue color and that is 121B46 click OK distance is going to be 0 spread is going to be 100 oops distance is going to be like 5 size is 0 opacity 100 alright so that looks good you can duplicate that effects on all of them zoom out and let's line this up just a bit I'm going to put the F in front like this we can scale this up just a little bit more rotate the P rotate the L the other way just looks so it looks like it's fun and playful we're going to zoom in and give it a little bit of shadow so underneath everything we're going to give it a dark red shadow and you can use this 8E0622 and then we're going to just uh, draw out something like this make it curvy and loopy Uh, I'm just going really quick because I'm running out of time, but uh, that's not too bad. We're going to make a new layer above it and then go Command E. And then open up this red box and I'm going to select the red box, selection inverse, and delete. And then lower this opacity just a little bit. Go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and give it something very slight, like that. And then we're go going to uh, we're going to give this F some shadow as well. So we're going to do just the same thing. We're going to click, drag, give it something around like this. Change that to a dark yellow. And then again, a new layer, Command E. And then for this time, we're going to select this P, and then go to your marquee tool and slide it over so it lines up with that curve selection inverse and delete just so the shadow is inside of that that blue and then lower the opacity just a little bit and we're going to do it again for this side of the F we're going to do a curve here curve here grab that color and then same thing command E and then for the L same thing again slide this over 
selection inverse and delete. Lower the opacity just a little bit and then zoom out and there you go. Uh, let's group this all together. We'll call this text. Group this together and right there. A pretty nice looking Toy Story like logo. Uh, it's It would look nicer if you used the word toy and modified it the same way but this is something pretty fun. You learned a few techniques from it. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.